Veronica! Veronica! Veronica, what is wrong with you? Why haven't you given my mother food? Huh? Well, no one informed me she was coming. Does that answer my question? Ken, it answers your question because what I am trying to say is that I did not prepare food for your mother because I was not informed of her coming. Do you understand it now? Is that an excuse or what? Are you indirectly starving my mother or what? Well, she told me she's in her son's house. So I decided to let her be. I believe when the son comes, he will prepare food for his mother. Or are you ready to let your mother starve too? Vera, you are a witch. <laughs> Zalin, if you're just realizing that now then, you did late. Ken. Ken, I am tired of you disrespecting me in this house. I am tired of you taking advantage of any opportunity, the slightest opportunity, to insult me. I have had it up to here. I am not going to let it slide anymore. So I'm going to look for a job with or without your consent. Thank God my mother is here. <laughs> and you think she's going to stop me? No. Oh. <laughs> Let's watch. Well, darling, your mother being here makes my plans easier. Oh. Like you said, let's watch. What happened? Mama, Daddy made holy crap for us one time and we couldn't even eat it. Hey, children. It wasn't that bad. Grandma, I threw up. Why would your mother be here and your father would be cooking? Moreover, it's not only the men that cooks. Who told you that? Mom is the only one cooking, so why are you not saying this? Gucci. Cooking is not meant for a woman alone, okay? It is okay for a man to help out in the kitchen. That makes him a good man. Mom, but dad never helps you in the kitchen. But does that mean dad is a bad, bad man? Enough. Table manners. And what did I say about table manners? You no. don't talk too much when you are eating, right? Mm -hmm. Good. No. It's the woman that allows the husband to cook that is the bad wife. Really? Yes. Buchi, Ada, finish your food in your room. But no. Now. Don't allow me to repeat myself. <laughs> Did you ask them to leave? Because they are my children. They are my children too? No, Grandma. They are your grandchildren. He is your son. You control him the way you like. I don't interfere. So please, do not interfere when I'm controlling my children or training them. And you will... And please, very important, don't ever counter my decision in front of my children. It's very disrespectful. And you want me to sit here and watch you tell these children that their father is a bad man? Well, if their father is not a bad man, what is he? Chimo. Hey, Ken. Is this what you have been enduring all these years in this house? Mama? Thank God you're here, Mama. This is what I've been experiencing in this house. Hey! Not under my watch would this happen. No! Uh -uh. Hey! Look at it.
Vero. But I want to know, why would you disrespect my mother like that? I did not disrespect her. I only corrected her. Vera, I know you can be crazy sometimes, but I do not expect you to bring that craziness to my mother. Oh, it is not okay to insult your mother or disrespect your mother, but it is okay for you to disrespect other people's mother. Can every now and then you disrespect me and insult me in front of my children? But I will not have anybody's mother come into this house and tell me how to train up my children or teach them any wrongdoings. And what do you call wrongdoings? Telling my son it is not okay for a man to enter the kitchen or help out in the kitchen in a world where men do virtually everything. Even when one's wife is a housewife. Yes, Ken. Even when one's wife is a housewife, men should help out. Oh. Men help out. So you expect me to go outside there and hustle? Take the heat and come back home. Yes. And go to the, to the yes, picture. Ken. I expect you to go out there and hustle to take care of your wife and your, and your children and then still come back and help out in any way you can do. Other men do it. They don't have two heads. They have one head like you, just like you. So there is nothing wrong in you helping your wife, Ken. Well, since this is about bringing money to the table, I'll go out there and get a job. No, no, and no, you, no, 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 Ken, you are not stopping me. You are not stopping me. I can see you're serious with this debate. Yes, Ken, I am dead serious. And you know your wife. I don't joke around. When I say something, I do it. I am going ahead with this divorce unless you will allow me to be the woman I want to be. Thank God we did not do court wedding, else you will say I'm about to dig. Whatever gold you have. Veronica, are you daring me? <laughs> this is a fact. Veronica, Mama. it is you that I have come to see. It is because of you that I have come to this house. Because of me? Yes. My son here has been experiencing hell in this marriage. <laughs> Mama, he told you so or... Let me land. I've not finished. You've been married for nine years. What is this issue about having got wedding that you've been disturbing my son? What is going on? What is wrong? <laughs> Let me get something straight. So Kenneth reported me to you. And of course, I'm not surprised you would take sides. But Mama, since we are reporting each other to you, please, can you help me ask your son why he has refused to do a court wedding with me? Because really, I want to know what his fears are. You don't answer my question with question. You've been married for nine good years. You have two beautiful children. You did your traditional marriage. Eh? Everybody knows that you are married. What is all this about having caught wedding? Your husband doesn't cheat on you. Cha cha. Eh? What does a peaceful woman want? Mama, a peaceful woman wants a court wedding. A court wedding. Because really, I don't know what the big, the big deal is all about. What is the big deal about it? All I asked for is a court wedding. Like you rightly said, we've been married for nine years, Mama. There is nothing, no evidence to show that I am married to this man. Not even a certificate uh -huh. or a ring. I had to buy this one in the market. Uh -huh. Not even a white wedding. What is the big deal in asking for a court wedding? Yeah. You're reporting me to your mother. Mama, ask her why she doesn't want a church wedding. If she doesn't have ulterior motives. Ken, please, can you stop this bullshit? Who is talking about a white wedding after nine years of marriage? What will I do with a white wedding, really? Mama, I told you. I told you this girl has plans. Oh, with plans. Veronica, it's obvious you have plans. Yes, 
You want to kill my son and run away with his properties. Jesus. Mama, how can you say such a thing? Where is she going? Come back here. Come back here and hear the truth. Hmm. Hmm. I can't believe that this girl will be like this. V. V. I. I am sorry. I. I didn't mean to escalate to this point. I'm sorry. Okay, now it's V. It's V. You now call me V. Can I see you and your mother are hell-bent on frustrating me to my last breath in this house? No, that's what the agenda is because it's becoming clear to me. Uh, honey, I am, I am sorry. But we used to go ahead with the divorce. Watch me, Ken. Watch me. Uh, who is there? Come right in, the door is open. Mommy. Sweetheart. What is it? Is it true you are separating with daddy? Who told you that? Grandma. She said you will no longer be, with, be living with us. Sweetheart, come here. It's not true. Grandma was only joking, okay? Yeah. Really? Of course, you know Grandma, she jokes a lot. She was only joking, okay? Joking. Hmm? Don't worry. Your daddy and I are going to spend the rest of our life together, okay? Is that what okay. you want? That's my boy. Come here. Come here. Oh. Okay, don't worry. Go to your room. I'll come and see you later. Hmm? Give don't me a high five. That's my boy. I we I know you're hungry. Look at his tummy. I'm coming, okay? Do you see the influence your mother has over my kids? It's all your fault. When you're screaming divorce, 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 as if you won a lottery. I don't blame you, Ken. I don't blame you at all. Getting a divorce it will not solve our problem. And now the kids are aware of the divorce. Are you still going to go ahead with the divorce? <laughs> um, my love, your, your mother is not back yet. When is she coming back? I honestly don't know what is keeping her away. Eh? She doesn't always take this time. You know, because of the road is getting late. I understand. Okay. So, uh, tell me, uh, what is your decision? On what? Um, consigning what we, we discussed the last time. I don't know what to tell you. What do you mean you don't know what to tell me? Amaka, I just want you to say yes to me. Huh? Once you say yes to me, I am very okay. Obiora, I feel like marriage is a trap. A trap? Yes. Come on. You already know I like you. <laughs> In fact, I, I love you so much. You know that. I love you with all my heart, with everything in me. I can do anything for you. I want you to be my wife. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Please, let me marry you, okay? I will take good care of you. Anything you want on earth, I will make sure I provide it. If I don't have, I can possibly go out and borrow just to make you happy. Huh. This one you're, you're telling me to say yes to you. I, I, I am not okay. Normally, my brain, they do somehow. If my nuts lose like this, everywhere go, they scatter, scatter. It's just so you know. And I am not ready to to tolerate any nonsense from anybody. Oh, come huh. on, Amaka. Eh? How do you see this man sitting before you? 
I'm a responsible man. I will treat you like a queen that you are. I will take good care of you, worship you, make your dreams come true. Hey. I will make sure that you lack nothing. As a matter of fact, once you accept to be my wife, our first child will be delivered in London. Hey. Obiora, I am holding my ears now. I know, I am serious. Okay, I'm a serious young man, I don't joke. Did you hear that thing I said before? I said my knots usually lose like this. And if it, if, if words, it goes you off... You stubborn. Yo, I, I don't care. I don't know how you see it. I don't though. care. What I care about is this beautiful girl here. And I believe that once you stay with me, you will, all these things you're saying won't be. Because I will kill you with love. Eh? I will destroy you with happiness. <laughs> eh? You will lack nothing. You won't stress yourself about anything. I am dead serious, my dear. Just say yes to me. That's all I need. That's all. Okay, if you're serious, yes. <laughs> like, yes in what way? Go and bring your people. People should come now. That's the yes. It's a lie. I'm not joking. It's a lie. I <laughs> like... You, you, you're serious? Like you have accepted me, you have accepted my proposal, I should get my people? On the ground that you, you, you keep to your promises, oh. What are you saying? Are you serious? I should come with my people, that's just, that's just it? Huh? <laughs> I should just come with my people and, and, and then yes, you, are, you have accepted to marry me. <laughs> really? Of course. Oh, Amaka. Mama. Good yeah. afternoon. Good afternoon, ma. My dear, you're welcome. How are you? I'm fine, ma. Um, Mama, this is Obiora, the one that I spoke to you about. Oh, Obiora, you're welcome. Thank you. Mama, I must say you are very beautiful. I now see where your daughter, Maka, got her beauty from. <laughs> Thank you so much, my son. You're welcome. Thank you, you're welcome. Um, Amaka, have you offered him anything? Like what, Mama? Like what? Amaka, your visitor. You've not offered him anything. Mama, he ate before coming now. Mama, I'm, I'm okay. Yes, I ate before coming. Uh -huh. I'm fine. As a matter of fact, I was even about leaving. Yes. Mama, he said he's about leaving. So stop worrying. No problem, my son. Right. Don't worry. Next time you come, just notify me. I'll prepare Onubu soup for you. Oh? Alright. Before I leave, Mama, what? I have some to excuse me. <laughs> I'll talk to you for you, Mama. Mama, what, what, what hey. am I supposed to What am I supposed to give him? He ate before coming. We have started though. Mama? Um, Mama, please manage this little token. Please. Hey. Get something for yourself, please. Thank you so much. Manage it. My son, this is beyond manage. It's too much. Huh? Mama. Mama, I beg to take my leave now. I will see you some other time. Okay. When next you come, hmm? Just let me know. It's okay. Let me start going now. Okay. Okay. Right. Take care. Bye-bye. Uh, I'm going to him off now. No, I, uh, I, I, he's he's okay. going, Mama. I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine, Ma. Bye-bye. Right. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Ma. Thank you. Thank you, Ma. Amaka, bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Mama, look this way now. Ah, don't do like that. Okay. Call the oil. Mama. Hey. It's okay now. You have a woman like her. Eh. I have a woman like her. Amaka. Oh, what can I be like? Mama. Sit down. No, look at that. Amaka, you. Mama, don't come and start to. Oh, don't come and start and kill me with questions. Eh, eh, this one is not killing you with questions. Amaka. Is this young man, this handsome, suckling, elegant? Yeah, I don't want too much. 
Hey. Amaka, is it this young man you are taking your time to accept his proposal? Hey. Amaka, this is the kind of man our society call husband material. <laughs> Mama. Hundred years old with lining. Nka abroko nki betesia ichoba lining na ya. Nka ubu yebu webia. Muke maroma. Amaka, what is wrong with you? Tell me. Hey. Mama zukwa nike. Ah ah. <laughs> Mama, see, I just want to be sure Obiora wants what I want. That's all. Oh. Amaka, what signs do you need to be sure? Amaka, you will be here fooling yourself around until all these small, small girls will snatch him away from you. I don't know possible. Oh, do now possible at all, at all, Mama. Amaka, Mama. It's not the level possible. Yes, sir. Amaka, oh, Mama. if this man gets tired of chasing you around, following you around, he will channel his energy to another direction. <laughs> oh, Neymaro! Mama! Mama was a killer speed. Let me see you give a That will never happen. It's not possible. Hey. Why are you so sure? That is because... Mama, don't worry. You don't have to know Mama can talk to me. Hey, why your mama do <laughs> Tell me the truth. I am your mother. Mama, I'm not, no. I am saying that I'm sure because. Talk to me. That's it. Mama, are you asking too much questions. Just don't worry about it. So tell me the truth because I don't believe you at all. Mm. Okay, Mama, see. Uh -huh. I said yes to Biora's proposal. Uh, 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 I didn't believe you. Uh -huh. I didn't believe you. Mama, you asked me, oh, I just told you. Now you're telling me you don't believe me. I said yes to him now. Just like that. It's you. Mama, why why do you think he was hugging me in excitement? Ah! <laughs> Mama, I don't I don't I do I don't Hi! So now, finally, both of you have concluded that he's going to marry you. Uh, Mama, I only said I accept it. Mama, see, now Mama. that I've accepted you, hey. if you say I'm going to get married, I'm going to get married, hey. and you're saying my husband is 100 hey. yards, you will buy me chicken and bread. You know I will do that, but <laughs> wait, oh, bread and chicken. It's bread and butter that I want. Mama, it's not your business now. Nah. I mean, I want to eat bread and chicken. It's a good combination. Babe. I know this is so hard for you right now, but please, I need you to be calm and patient for me. All right? Charles, baby. Yes, baby. Why? Why did you do this to me? This is, this is too much. It's too much for me to handle. I know. <clears throat> Benita, what do you want here? I've been waiting for you in the room. <laughs> waiting for me how? Do we have an agreement. I want to have sex. What? You heard me. Who told us? Huh? What do you mean you want to have sex? Like we've been having sex in this house? This hot afternoon? Benita. Do they have timetable for sex? I'm asking you. Is it not when you're honey that you that you that you have sex? I'm honey, I want to have sex. Hey, oh my God. There's nothing I'll not see in this house. Benita. Charles. Get out of my room now. Did you say I should leave? Charles, if I leave this room, I am going to have it outside. You slash. I don't care. 
you can have it with 20 men. 30 men. I don't care. But what I want you to know is I will not let you come between my woman and I. Alright? Now get out of my room! I'll have it outside, Charles. Benita. Charles. You're pregnant. Do not let me lay my hands on you. Else! Get out! Charles, you're telling me to leave if I go out. Oh, oh, get out! Get out! Charles, this is not Get out! <laughs> Nonsense. Can you imagine that nonsense? She wants to have sex. She's horny. Like... Babe, babe. Babe, come on. Babe, come on. Come on. Don't do this. Don't do this, please. Don't do this. Everything is going to be fine, I promise you. Okay? Don't do this, don't do this. Babe, don't do this. It's, it's very obvious that nobody wants me in this house. Nobody. No problem, I will leave. And when I leave, I will travel outside the country and go have my child. Travel and go have my child. It's obvious nobody wants me in this house. I will leave.
Oh, baby, take it easy. Yeah. I'm tired. I cannot, I cannot do this anymore. Charles is driving me crazy. I, Mom, I, I'm, 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 I'm exhausted. I, I don't think I can. I don't think I can do this. I can't do it anymore. I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> Mom, please. Help me tell Amaka to come over. I've been trying to call her all day, but her number is not connecting. Please tell her to come. Please. Okay, Mom. I'll try. Bye. Mama, Mama, you look worried. What is the problem? Your sister called Chica. My sister? Hope she's okay. Mama, did she say anything? She was crying when she called. Amaka, I think that house is no longer conducive for your sister. Uh -uh. Why was she crying when she called you? Mama, I hope no one is hitting her there. I don't know. All I know is that she was crying. Mama, do you know what? Mm. I'll be leaving here for the city first thing tomorrow morning. Bao, no. You are not going anywhere, Amaka. Why? You are not going anywhere. Mama, stop now. Nothing will happen to her. No, you want them to kill my sister before I act? Nothing will happen to her. Just hear me. Nothing will happen to your sister. Inugo, you are not going there. Amaka, you want to go to that place to ferment trouble. Mama. Christian Sobu again. You just told me.
Did you see her? Oh my. I did not see her. How can you say the whole of this other market is not there and her phone is still switched off? Nay, I have searched everywhere in this house and Maka is nowhere to be found. Are you sure she slept in this house? Because I have not seen her since I came back. Nay, I am sure, very, very sure, because I was with her last night in her room. In fact, we discussed until she slept off and I went into my room. Even today, she woke up and did some house chores. I even sent her to buy me something, which she did. Huh? What? I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Has she been kidnapped? God forbid! No! In fact, I am suspecting that she has gone to meet her sister Chica. Are yes. you sure about that? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. You know I told her not to go to Chica's place. But you know your daughter, Amaka, now. Amaka will like to do that, which you ask her not to do. I know, though you don't need to lecture me on Amaka character. Go and get your phone. Let us go, Chica. Go, 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 go. Hey, hey. Hey, Chica, let us know what's okay. going on. Okay. Hey? Everything won't problem. Somebody will not rest in this house. Amaka is this house. What kind of daughter is this? Hey? What phone I'll say so? Can I go, Chica? Ah. I'm coming, oh! I guess the lady that is pregnant for our boyfriend. Excuse, excuse, excuse me. Not to worry, because I am also pregnant for him. That's a lie. And why? Why should I lie? Relax. I am here to stay. We are pregnant. You are here to stay. Just like you're staying. That's my bag. You're here. Thank you. Goodness. So, Mama told you. I'm really happy she told you quickly. Thank Mama. You. Yeah. Goodness. I didn't expect it to be this fast. Who's Mama? I'm happy. What? <laughs> Sister, you talk as if you don't know our mother again. Mama never wanted me to be here. Uh -uh. So, how did you make it here? Uh -uh. Amaka. Ah, uh -uh. you supposed to know me now. I just had to, one way or the other, find my way. Uh -uh. Sister, I sneaked out of the house. Jokes hey, whoa. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Mm. Meanwhile, what did you tell that, that mad one? What did you tell her to make her change her mood? Her mood is so bad. Mm. What happened? Nothing, no. Did you say anything to her? No. When I came in, uh -huh. she asked me, Who are you? And I answered her, This is who I am. She got angry with her big belly. Boom. Just like that, sister, no worry. I carry violence from village Waka Kong. Hey! I trust you. But please, let me just advise you. You see that girl? Avoid her. She's a basket of trouble. Uh, Did you hear me? Avoid her so that you can live here in peace. Sister, let me also tell you. I work out with violence, come. And you should know that it's always good to have a mad person. This one person that is very mad in every family. Now, maybe that. And you're the bad one. I don't call. Hey, Amaka. I don't call. Little Miss Fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy you're here. Why would you ever stop this nonsense? Why do you keep bashing into my room? When you start putting those things in between your legs in one place. Meaning? Meaning you're a useless man. You, you're a he-goat. Irresponsible swine. That's who you are. Enough, mm. Benita. What's the meaning of this? The meaning is sitting shamelessly in the sitting room. 
And what is in the sitting room? The village got you pregnant, Ted. What? What the hell are you talking what about? What is what? What is what? Why don't you go downstairs and see for yourself and stop asking me that stupid question? Move and go and see what, 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 what you've done to yourself. We're now to Move and see. Go and see for yourself. Eh, let's go. Pregnant for me. No? Where is she? You left her here, then where is she? Where is she? Are you asking me? <laughs> Amaka. Hello. You. Yeah. <sighs> you didn't tell me you were coming. Yeah, that's because it was an emergency. An emergency? What happened? She's sick. My sister is sick. She's sick? How? Brother Charles, how could you? How could you even think of treating my sister badly after everything she has done for you? Um. Amaka, it's not what you think, all right? Um, it wasn't intentional. Trust me. Do you men ever do anything intentionally? It's always a mistake. One way or the other, you come out to tell us there's a mistake. Come on, Amaka, you can't, you can't talk like this. No, I'm not talking anyhow. The thing is, I am just here to make sure my sister is fine. And I hope there will be peace in this house. Mama, I'm here to see Yamaka. Hmm. I've been calling her, but her number is not reachable. My son, Amaka traveled. Ah, traveled? Yes. Well, she never mentioned that to me. It was an emergency. Her sister is not feeling fine, so she went there to help her. Oh, really? Okay, I see. Sorry about that. Thank you. Uh, but is there a way I can I can assist? I mean, financially, for her to be okay. No, my son. Amaka is already there to help. She mm. will take care of it. Okay. I hope the sickness is not severe. No, 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 no. Okay. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry. I mean, that is why I'm here. I I was worried. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. I I will start going now, Amma. Okay, my dear. Uh, okay. Oh, Mama, please, uh, do you know when she's coming back? Mm, I can't answer that one. Okay. You know what? You have to keep trying her number. Um, whenever I start going through, okay. she's in All a right. better position to tell you. All right, I will be calling her. I'll be calling her constantly. Mama, I hope you're okay. I'm okay, thank you. All right, full thank stop, you. everything is fine. Thank All you. Right, Ma. Okay, ma. You're I America. beg to take my leave now. Right. Thank you, welcome. Ma. Let me start going now. Okay. All right. Okay. Send me away to your family. Okay, my dear. Right. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, oh, ma. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, my regards to your family. Oh. Sure. Can I mama Thank you. Thank you. Oh. All right. I will oh, keep na. calling her. Oh. All right. Take care. Ongwano. Ongwano, welcome. Oh dear. Hola. Nai. Who was that? <sighs> the young man I told you that wants to marry Amaka. Oh. Uh, I hope there's no problem. No. He came to look for Amaka, but I told him that Amaka traveled. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what he sees in Amaka. If only he knows. The bag of trouble he wants to buy. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Biko, 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 biko. I don't agree with you. Cha, cha, wa. Eh? You should stop talking like that. Too. Amaka 
She's a good girl. She's still a good girl now. Uh -uh. Oh, mama. <laughs> Did I say she's not a good girl? All I'm saying is that uh, the young man should come and do the label so that uh, she will even be a better girl in his house. Uh, no, I can't wait to. If you want to hear love, you Hey! Is your love what? Amaka loves him. If you no, God broke my brain. Can love you? Hey, don't mean it. Hey, uh, let him come and do the nephew so that they begin to love themselves. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't hey. wait to see hey, that. Amaka. <laughs> Veronica, where are you coming from? I went for an interview. Which job interview are you talking about? Leaving the kids to starve? How can the kids starve when their grandmother is here? Meaning what? Is her mother now the new herself a slave? Ken, how can your mother making food for her son and her grandchildren be slavery? Like where is that done? What are you even talking about? Veronica, so you want to tell me that you can leave this house without telling your husband where you are going? Hmm? He was sleeping when I was leaving. We slept in December last night. Why didn't you talk about it? No one fixes an emergency job interview, Veronica. Well, mine was. This lot wasn't actually mine. It's my friend's own. She had to call me to, to utilize the opportunity so it won't just waste. And, and I had to. And um, fortunately for me, I got the job. She got what? I got a job. What job are you talking about? I got a job, Ken. My mother does not live in this house with us. So who takes care of the hardships and other responsibilities? Ken, we will get a help. Veronica, this is a joke. Well, I'm sure you know I don't need your help to do that. As a matter of fact, I've gotten a help. I'm waiting for Mama to go so she can commence work. Oh, so you want me to leave my son's house so you can kill him for me? Bye. Mama, please! Enough of this kill your son, kill your son. Don't you think if I wanted to kill your son, I would have killed him long time ago? Don't you think so? You didn't know. Eh? Mom knows how big Ken! Did you see what she did? Eh? Are you going to just leave her like that? Okay, no mama. You have spoiled this girl, oh. Are you there? Eh? Because a horse slap would have reset her brain now. Slap who? Hmm. <laughs> oh, Ken, you cannot slap her. Hmm. After what she did to your mother now. <laughs> Hell, I will have to leave this house. <laughs> Hell, I will have to leave. I will have to leave this house. Because she has already said it now that I should leave. Eh? So this woman is, is this what you see in this house? You can't even control your wife. Help! Stop now. Stop. Stop. Ah. What's the problem? Now, can't I have my wife? Eh? Your wife is tired, Pico. I'm tired. <sniffs> tired because you went for, 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 for a job interview? Eh? If you get so tired like this because of a job interview, how down will the job itself be? Can, can, can you just allow me sleep? Eh? The venue of the, the interview was really far. I had, to, I had to trek at some point, and there was traffic to crown it all. Ken, please now, let me sleep. Bikono, let me sleep. It's okay. It's okay. Can, can you just give me only one? Just one. I'll be okay Ken, with stop one. now. You're not even getting a peck. I'm tired. Uh -uh, can't you understand? Another time. I am hard now. If I'm working a quarter, eh, I am hard. Enter the bathroom now. Enter the bathroom. Oh. To do what then? You know what to do. Enter there and use whatever you're supposed to use. Allow me to have one. Please. Can't Just... stop now. Can't stop. You're beginning. This is be becoming harassment. Too. This is becoming harassment. Ah. Uh -uh. If I say I'm tired, I'm tired. Have no marker. Leave me alone. 
If you want me to leave this room for you, I'll leave it too. I'll go to the parlor and sleep. Just one. Enter the bathroom. Just one. Enter bathroom. If you try it now, you may like it too. Ken. 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 Mama, good morning. Mm -hmm. You're still here? Milen? Oh, yesterday you were shouting, I want to go, I want to leave this house. I need to leave this house, like something was burning you to leave this place. So I was thinking by the time I wake up this morning, I won't see you here. So you want me to leave my son's house? <laughs> but Mama, you don't live here. I mean, this is not your house. This is my husband's house. So. At some point, you're supposed to leave. What has come over you? How dare you talk to me like that? <sighs> Mama, this is not a shouting matter now. This is a very simple matter. I'm being as polite as possible. Mama, this is not your house. This is not your husband's house. This is my husband's house. And Mama, I am sure in your husband's house, nobody comes there to control you. Nobody dares control you in your husband's house. Asremasi. So I don't understand why you will leave your beautiful, comfortable husband's house and pack all your things and come to my own husband's house to control me. Mama, it does not make sense now. It will make your sense. I will cut off these wings, eh? These dirty wings you got from your, from the quarters for you. Mm. That is if you remain in this house by the end of the day. Veronica. That is my name, Veronica. What can I do for you? Mama, Biko, 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 Biko. I've been trying to play cool. Go have it, my, my mother-in-law. Eh, hey, please, go into the guest room. Did you hear what I called it? Guest room. You are a guest in this house. Go in there and pack everything that belongs to you and leave. How dare you? You don't have any right to talk to me like that in my own son's house. Mama, actually, I, I, I have all the rights in the world. In fact, I have more rights than you anywhere around this house. If it's not my son, eh? I would have, I would have stopped this your stupidity. Mm. I would have shown you the other side of me. Mm. What other side? <laughs> Mama, you will not do anything. Please go in there and pack your things. I quit your wedding, court wedding, over my dead body. Would you have one? Vero, why would you be speaking to my mother like that? What has come over you? The same madness that came over you, Ken, that makes you talk to me the way you please. That's what came over me. She is my mother, Vero. Oh, Stop. really? Stop. Stop pushing your love. So because she's your mother, I should take her frustrations. She should frustrate me in my own husband's oh, house. Come on, you and I know that she's not going to be here for so long. So why not just enjoy her? Eh? If you think you are going to invite your mother into this house without my consent and expect me not to get mad, then I don't understand you. Or you think you're just going to invite your mother just like that and expect me to be calm about it. Is that what you think? Very in case you have forgotten, let me refresh your memory. I own this house. I bought this house with my own hard-earned money. Therefore, I don't need any permission from you to invite my mother to my own house. You own this house. Oh, yeah. I see. Well, since you do not see anything wrong in what your mother is doing, fine. Well, I don't care. Henceforth, how this marriage works. Oh. Do you understand? Like you ever cared before. Do you care? Of course and you don't. And Ken. I will take your mother's frustration as much as I can to the best of my ability. But please, let her stay off my kids. She is bad influence to them. What? You heard me right, Ken. Ada, have you noticed something? What is that? 
Since Grandma came, Mom and Dad has been fighting. But they always fight. I know, but it's increased. What should we do about this? I think we should go and ask them what the problem is. Wow. That's a good idea. Maybe during dinner, ask them. Yeah, during dinner. <sighs> Always fighting. Yes, it's true. And we noticed it got worse as soon as Grandma came. But you stop. Where did you get that from? But Mom, you always say your voice is from our room. Yes, it's true. People are getting it all wrong. Your mother here wants your father to do court weather with her. What does that mean? It means that if anything happens to your father, your mother will run away with his property. Mama, will you stop? Will you stop this this minute? Mom, is that true? But is anything going to happen to dad? Um, nothing will happen to me. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Buchi? Yes, ma'am. Ada? Yes, ma'am. Finish your food in your room. Oh, no. Now! just going to sit here and you will not address what just happened on this table right now. Veronica, what do you want me to say? What do I want you to say? Well, Ken, for the first time, I actually want you to be the man. The man you've been making noise about being in this house. I want you to be it right now and address this nonsense that just happened now. You want my son to beat me now? Oh, eh, you're walking away. Eh, let him come and beat me. He should come and beat me. Eh? Is there any other thing you can do? If not, just to send them. Yeah, 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 my children. You are training your children. Tell my son to come and beat me. Uh, Ijoma, I don't know what is wrong with your friend. I mean, she traveled without letting me know. I guess it's an emergency. Emergency? Yeah. And she couldn't call me on the phone to tell me? When I told you that my friend is a not case, you said you don't mind. So why are you complaining? So if if she is a not case, she she can't tell me that she wants to travel. Uh, listen, Ijoma, I know you like me. Yes, but I don't have you know feelings for you. I'm not saying you're not beautiful, but Amaka caught my attention first. Okay, now. Go home and wait for her to pick your call, okay? Excuse yeah, yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, come. I'm sorry, okay? Come, come. Listen to me. The truth is, I so much love Amaka. I care about her so much and I really want to talk to her. I don't want her to change her mind towards me. I want to see her. <laughs> change her mind? You should pray she accepts you first. You're talking about changing of mind. <laughs> she didn't tell you? Tell me what. She has already accepted me. No. Are you serious? <laughs> of course, it's not a. It's not a. She has accepted wow. me already. Okay. Channeling your attention to someone I never cared. Hello? <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> Since you said she has accepted you, I'm happy. I'm so happy for you guys. Thank you. <laughs> I, I can't drag anything with my friend. You no, know, I can't drag anything with that. Thank you so much. Thank you. So are you indirectly telling me that you, you will call her for me? Yes, I will. Okay. And I would also love to hear from her if she has truly accepted you. So, All right. talk to her. Okay. All right, thank okay, you. Now I'll have to start going now. All right, thank you. I'll, I'll appreciate if you if you try to reach her and let me know, please. All right, I will. Okay, I'll take care. All right, thank you okay, very much. Okay, now bye-bye. Uh, please don't forget, eh? I'm, I'm serious. No, I, I will really not. want to talk to her. I will. I will, I will, I will call her. I will talk to her once I get to the house. All right. Okay, now bye-bye. All right. Please call her, okay? 
I will. Bye. It's been days. Go. Village, since this place is no longer conducive for Mama, me. Please don't go. Mama, please. It's not about don't go. I see me now, see village. I'm already in the village. Mm. I have to go and look after my goats, my chicken. I don't want them to kill me here. Mama, we killing you. You don't know anything. Hmm? Witches everywhere. Witches. Witch. Mama, I'm not seeing anyone. Oh. Don't worry. I will come back for you, people. Hmm? Butchi. Yes, mom. Ada. Yes, mom. To your room. Well, mommy, I said me. to your room now. The, uh, Ken! Ken! Uh, Ken! Come and take me out of here! Oh. Take me! Come, Ken, where are you? Come and take me out of this place before they will kill me! Hmm? Eh, take me out! Let me go! Let me go! Uh, let me go! Ah! Uh. I've been meaning to ask you. Why you rush? Why you the rush? This girl, did she carry go? Yeah. Hey, Bukhara, I don't understand you. Eh? What are you saying? Don't you know me too well? When I'm serious, you know when I'm serious, right? You see this girl, eh? She's the one for me. Mm. I must marry her. In fact, it will not take up to a month. She don't be my wife. <laughs> That's to show you how serious I am. Where did you say you met this girl again? Oh, man, our village. Village met... quoi? Yes, now. Let me tell you how it happened. I met her in the village. You know, I went to see my grandmother on this fateful day to, you know, give her food stuff. Usual. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Normal thing while they do. Yeah. So I met her. If you see this girl. Oh, very beautiful. Hmm. Beauty. She must be very pretty. I am telling you that this girl is. Beauty is an understatement. This girl is mommy water. If you see her skin, natural. No bleaching, nothing. Everything about her is just unique. <laughs> her lips, soft. Her eyeball. Oh boy, this girl, they melt my heart. I cannot wait to make her my wife. Are you serious? I'm telling you. Lips where you never even kiss. You I don't see her say soft. Very soft. This girl swept you off your feet. My brother will read that one. <laughs> this girl brushed me off my feet. I did tell you. Huh? My brother. And the way I talk about this matter like this, eh? if I even think about them, it bust my brain. <laughs> Do you know that I cannot concentrate anymore ever since I saw that game? Are you serious? Hey, she's the one for me. Although, I don't make some inquiries about her. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I heard that she's very stubborn. Uh, she's a stubborn girl. But I want to uh -huh. look inside me at all. You know, matter. Did you just say stubborn? Uh, I heard that she's And very... you still want to marry her? You want to go ahead? Why not? Now the stubbornness I won't marry, I've been a, the, the girl I won't marry. I want to marry her, I'll be people with stubborn, they don't marry them again. No, 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 I'm not talking to you. I've not said that. Just that the gravity of the stubbornness is what I don't know. You don't know it now, I'm telling you now. Oh, God, make you not go break your head. Hey, <laughs> Uga, <laughs> Nami. <laughs> Nami, you'll be alright, talk to the person, you go, who'll be that, even if not man, you go break my head for this life. I cannot walk. But leave that stubbornness out. I can't handle it. Mm. All right. She told me that she she's traveling to go see her sister. Her sister is sick. Okay. You understand? So immediately she comes back, straight up. Wow. I'm marrying her. So sorry about that. Sorry about the sickness and other stuff. So we are preparing for marriage. Is that of course, of course, in a month's time. <laughs> My man. I'm telling you, bro. You know, I'm happy for you, though. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> but I was thinking, why don't you cut her? Like. Date her so that you can know her. Courtship. Know her character, everything, you know? It's good. You're sounding as if you're not from this country or you don't know what is going on. We are in the 21st century. This is the modern age. No time for all those things, my brother. Once you see this woman, anyone you like, go straight and marry her. No, no time to waste. Okay, I should be dating her now before you know. One guy will just come from nowhere now, marry her, then I'll find it. <laughs> no, now. This is the girl I want to marry, and I will marry her. No time. Just prepare yourself. My brother, fear of the unknown. I don't worry you. Nothing they happen. 
<laughs> nothing they saw. Just prepare yourself, you understand? Because now you will be my best man. You see that? No, no, I don't need to beg you for that kind of thing. I deserve them. Uh, now, my rights. Uh, right, as no. your best man. As your friend. I don't care. I don't care if she's stubborn or not stubborn. <laughs> Once I marry her, now I will share my character. Bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Let me just marry her. What are you talking about? How dare you? I mean, how dare you toy with a woman's heart? How, how dare you do that? Look, you allow that thing into, into the house? Not just that she's even pregnant for you. What the hell are you talking about? Amaka, pregnant for me? Is that what she told you? Oh. I see she's tried very hard to step on your nerves and she has succeeded. I've never seen a Marcus panties all my life. And all my life, this is like the third time I'm seeing her. For your information, she's Chica's younger sister. All right? Younger sister. God, is that why you dragged me out like that? Ah. Okay, okay, okay. I see. Oh, oh, <laughs> so this is, <sighs> this is it. No, she doesn't know me. She doesn't know me. By the time I am done with her, she wouldn't know when she would pack her bags and leave this house. <laughs> okay, now it's making sense. Frying four eggs? How dare you? If you fry four eggs, how many will others eat? I ask you, how many will others eat? Benita, you should have spoken to me politely instead of yelling. Yelling? Speak to you that your who exactly? I should speak to you politely. What an insult! Huh? You're even smiling. Yes, I am. Be because I feel pity for you. You're very stupid. Do you understand? You are very stupid. How dare you come into my house to fry four eggs? How many do you fry in your father's house? Listen, the fact I allowed your sister into this kitchen doesn't mean you should follow her. What is this? Does this, does this place look like your father's kitchen? Don't try it next time, Mom. I, do I, not I, try it next time. Don't come into my kitchen doing this kind of rubbish. Four eggs. You're wasting my eggs. Hey, 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 please, just, 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 just shut up. Please, don't, don't do this next time. Don't try it next time.
Sister, mm -hmm. I have seen what you've been going through in this house. <laughs> what happened? Sister, nothing happened though. The egg you asked me to fry, mm -hmm. I added extra to so I can eat from it. Then Benita came from nowhere and started abusing me. To top it all, she even abused our family. And I hope you didn't insult back. Insult her? How can I insult her when I am planning to beat her up? Amaka? Sister? Did I hear you say you're planning to beat up a pregnant woman? Yes, sister. Mm -hmm. I will not just beat her. I will beat her so well that she might pass out. Amaka. Amaka, listen to me. Listen, please, no matter what happens, ignore her. Okay? Just ignore her. Avoid her. The house is too big. You can live in this house without having anything to do with her. That is where you got it wrong. Me and you, we are not the same. She will abuse you. Then I will just ignore her. Who told you I can do that? Sister, would you respect me? I'm not going to though. If she abuses you, what? Um, hello? Hello, Ijoma. How are you? Okay, Amaka is here. Mm -hmm. All right, talk to her. IJ. Hello, IJ. How are you? Oh, so sorry. It was an emergency. <laughs> no, no, not like that. Not like that. The phone has been off since I came here. Look out on it now. Is that okay? Really? He came? Oh. IJ, sorry. Oh, you're no vase. You're too para. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do that now. Is that why you're sounding like something happened? Bye, Biko. Sister <laughs> mm. uh, mm, my baby. Let me tell you something. Stand up from there. Well, what is the meaning of this? Eh? I ask you, what is the meaning? Oh, because I allowed you to put your bag in this room. Eh? It means you, you, you come, come to this room to lie down for what? Why would you lie down here? Stand up from there. Wait, Benita. Why did you hit me like that? You're very stupid. My friend, get, 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 get up. Get up from there. Just get up. Wait. Are you being serious right now? You're very stupid. Very, very, very stupid. What happens in the other rooms? So, why can't I sleep here? Why can't you? Why, why would you sleep here? I ask again, what happens to the other rooms? They are so unkept because no one stays there. Oh, they are so unkept because no one stays there. Amaka, when I came to this house, I cleaned up this room myself. So what stops you from cleaning any of those rooms, Amaka? What is it? So, you, you actually woke me up the way you did to say all of this. Maka, you must be very stupid. You must be very stupid for asking me that stupid question like your sister. You are very stupid. What am I even saying? I, I, I need to switch out because you people are trying to frustrate me in this house. You want to frustrate... I see here. Get up. Leave. Maka, get up and leave! It's fine. Stop screaming. I, I, leave. Leave. And don't mention my sister again. It's a warning. Just, 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 just get, get out. I'm leaving now. Eh, go! Go! Go now. Go! Amaka, go! Go! I don't want to push you. Just go. Wear your slippers and go. You cannot even push me. What is this? I cleaned up this room myself. 
So what stops you from cleaning one or one of those rooms? Please come and go. Come to share, 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 share room with me. Sleeping here. Uncle, what happened morning. to the room? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Benita pushed me out of her room. Benita did what? Why? She she said that she cleaned the room herself, and that since she cannot sleep in your own room, that I cannot sleep in hers either. That's crazy. Excuse me. Uncle, uncle, uncle. Don't go. What? Yes, I I believe you're going to work and I wouldn't want you to have a bad day at work. Don't worry. Um, the, the best I can do is ignore her. I will clean one of the rooms and move my things there. I am really sorry this is happening to you in my house. Thank you very much for understanding. All right? <laughs> I'll see you when I get back. Uh, Take care. The khaki is your what holding. khaki? This khaki is for my sister. I don't understand that. That is for Charles. He bought that with his money. Are you Let his me. wife? Soon to be. And it will happen in your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Soon to be wife. Listen, if you don't leave my presence, just if you don't get out of my way, you will receive the beating of your life. I said you will receive the beating of your life. Why don't you try it? Amaka, why don't you beat me? Try, no, 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 I want to see you beat me. Try it. Beat me. I am not my sister. Oh. My brain is doing tick tock, tick tock. I am not my sister. Oh. Get out of my way. And if I were you, I would take Uber. Amaka, what are you even saying? If I were you, I would take Keke. Or cut to wherever I am going to. For your own good though, and peace of mind. <clears throat> <laughs> I am pregnant though. Yes. Come on. Sister, leave me. Leave me. Let me deal with this ah. job. What is wrong with you? Mama, mama, because I've been keeping quiet for her. Yes, you think I am I'm my sister? What is this? Charles! 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 Charles, that's all you know how to do! Charles! Charles! Charles, your only hope! Charles! Charles, your only hope! Charles! Stop with me! You are the one that is enabling her! You are the one that is enabling her to be doing that!
a bit of this. The meaning is that everyone in this house will eat whatever my sister cooks, including you. This is not your father's house. Hence, you do not have the right to cook whatever it is that pleases you. Maka, you've now got nerves. I'm sure I've got some nerves, a lot. You've got nerves? Mm -hmm. But don't push your luck. Do not push your luck. What is this? I will make sure you leave this house the moment Charles comes back and find out that you pushed me to the floor. Now you, you, you messed up my noodles. I can't even explain what got into me. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Yeah. See this pleading? This pleading is, is late and it's useless because you are living with your sister to your useless family. How dare you? How dare you, swine? As many times as you've mentioned my family, I swallowed it. Never again. Should you open your gutter mouth and mention my family? Ever again. Hola, Ako. Hola, Ako. Where is this woman? Hola, Ako. No. Hey, what? I'm sorry. Where have you been? I was at the backyard picking the palm fruits. Uh, is that not Amaka's job? Why should you be doing that? Nah, I can't wait for Amaka to come back. Eh? I have to do it fast because rain is coming. I don't want rain to sweep it off. Okay, sorry, it's all right. If anybody look for me, tell them I went for the Omona meeting. Uh -huh. I'll soon be back. Nah, uh -huh. Chica called. She sent her regard. Chica? Yes, sir. I don't know what is happening with Chica and that young man. This is taking forever. When is that young man coming to pay her bride price? No. I see if that is the problem. Which problem? What is going on? How? Biko, I've been thinking of a better time to tell you this. Amarom. What is going on? Talk to me. Is Chica pregnant? That would have been better. If she's pregnant. What is going on, woman? Talk to me. What happened to my daughter? Chica donated her kidney to that young man. Which kidney? What, what kidney are you talking about? Which young man? How? Nay, Chica, your daughter, donated her kidney to that very young man you know. Chica donated her kidney to Charles. How? Under gunpoint or was she drunk? What happened? And even after that, Charles did not consider it important to come and pay her bread price. Nay, Charles got another woman pregnant. And the lady in question said that Charles will not have the child if Charles did not marry her. They are all mad people. Both that lady, both Chica, both Charles, they are all mad people. My, he, he, he will be carrying my daughter's kidney and go and marry another woman. How? That is not possible. It will not going to happen. I will not allow it to happen. The only way forward is that he must marry Chica or give her back her kidney. That is all. Are you hearing me? So, you and your daughter hid this type of important information from me? Naibar, I didn't want to tell you because I don't know how you will react. You didn't know how I would react. So, I would have been clapping for them that a man like me would take my daughter's kidney and not marry her. You are hiding them from me. In fact, I don't even have. Both you and Charles and they, what, what the what the and the Allah. Let me go to the meeting and come back. I don't know what to do. My, in fact, what is going on? The Allah and the Allah. How can this happen in my house? How? Hey, Chimo, how am I going to contain Chica and her father in this house? How? What sort of madness is that? How can she do a thing like that to you in your condition? Doesn't she know you're pregnant? Amaka! Amaka! Yes, uncle. Come here! Amaka, come here. Amaka. Uncle. Who told us? Who did this to you? 
Huh? It's Auntie Benita. What? Benita, why? Why would you do a thing like this to her? A human being, for God's sake. Why? Uncle, take it easy. I, I don't know how she found out that you are aware of me sleeping in the parlor. So she started hitting me with a stick. I kept begging her to stop, but she wouldn't. I kept on begging her because I couldn't fight her because of her condition. Benita, why? Uncle, look at my hand. Oh my God. Don't touch it. When I was telling her to stop, she now used her leg to match me. And she told me she would make sure that my sister and I leave this house. If not in peace, we will live in pieces. <sighs> Uncle, I don't know what I've done to deserve this. I really like her as a person. And where was your sister when all of this was happening? My sister was not at home. That was why she could just beat me like this. Anita, why? Why would you do a thing like this to her? Why? Where did you learn this wickedness from? First, it was you sending her out of the room last night. And now, you're inflicting pains on her. Why? Anita, why? For God's sake. This is my house. My home. Not a war zone. I'm supposed to come back from work and have peace in my house and not all of this. What nonsense. I could take it easy on her. No, I will not tolerate this in my house anymore. I will not. Auntie, I'm sorry. I will do it again. Please forgive me. <laughs> When I tell you, say for outside, say I know well. You think say I the play with you, Abi? I am Maka. I suppose they mental asylum. So when dealing with me, you must be smart because I am ten steps ahead of you. I am watching you. I am watching every of your moves in this house. Don't try me. This is just the beginning. Sorry. I'm sorry for what happened today. I never knew Benita was this heartless. To the extent of inflicting pains on your sister. God. Don't worry, darling. I will talk to her. I will get to the root of this. Alright? I will take care of this. I promise you. Okay? Babe, why are you not talking to me? 
I've told you I will take care of this. Okay? I'll take care of this. See, man, that is the whole thing that played out this period. My guy, you know, try. You, you know, try at all. How do you mean? See, if your wife and your mother are at loggerheads, then it's your fault. It's the duty of a man to control both women. I mean, they listen to you. Why should you take sides? See, man, why do you always take sides with my wife? If I don't trust you as my best friend, believe me, I would have started suspecting you. That's my problem with you. You hate truth. And you like lies. You like recruiting small, small enemies. But you know you can't do that with me, right? No, no, no. You can't do that with me. It's a bad idea bringing my problem to you. Ken. Make your wife happy for once. Once! This is all this woman had asked for. All the years I've known you both. You called it one thing. Something that can destroy a man. That is what you called one thing. Okay, let me ask you. Why would a woman want to destroy a good man? Why? All she's asking for is assurance, is trust, is love, is care, is financial security. It's her right to ask. Tima, can I ask you a simple question? I'm listening. Why is my wife so bent on having a court marriage if she doesn't have ulterior motive? Why? Like you said, she wants a certificate. What does she need it for? Okay. I'm out of this. Better. I'm done. I'm done with this. Please. Good. We should be talking about the economy of this country, not about marriage certificate, court wedding, or whatever. <laughs> talking about the economy of the country, for me, is bad, 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 and bad. <laughs> My only option now, that to Jack Powell. <laughs> 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 Jack Powell. Guy, my own case was so four. You need a miracle. Bro, where the money day? Not a miracle you need. <laughs> <laughs> So I had to fill the form, so it doesn't look like I'm on serious, considering the fact that it was my friend that got the job for me. So I filled the column, single, rather than married. You are not making sense to me, Veronica. What do you mean I'm not making any sense to you? I had to feel single because if I had filled married, I had no certificate to back it up. And that might cost me this job. My friend had to go through a lot to get me this job, and I didn't want to lose it. Everything happened ASAP. Veronica, if all you needed to fill the form was a marriage certificate, you should have told me. Huh? What will it cost us to get marriage certificate? Oh, really? Ken, were you even listening to me? Of course. I told you everything happened ASAP. It's still not making sense to me, Veronica. How is it not making sense to you? Because I've been begging you to give me a certificate to present when I'm asked if I was married. Oh, you didn't see the need. Now you've seen the need. Are you asking me? Are you not saying that I call really? Why are you calling me now? Do I know? But I should talk before the woman bitch. I call. I say it's only you. Why are you not shouting at me? Feel which form, Ken? I already told you they've given me the job. I have the job already. You saw it yourself. And you feel the marital status as a single mother. You know why? I told you why. 
Francisco, what is wrong with you? Why can't you get it right just for once? What will it take you to tell me that we'll go to court, do the marriage, and you have the marriage certificate? What will it take to tell you? It will take me nine years, Ken. Nine good years, which is a time I don't have. Veronica, why didn't you ask me? Why? Why didn't I ask of you? Of course, Ken? why didn't you ask me? <laughs> Ken, are you the one asking me this question? I've been asking you for good nine years. Nine years, Ken! And what did you do? Veronica, it's as simple as ABC. You should have asked again. Maybe, maybe I would have considered. Oh, really? I need a reason to ask you to take me to court and wed me, your wife of nine years. I need a reason to convince you, right? <laughs> well, news flash. I don't need it anymore. So, are you planning of traveling without me? Well, as you clearly see, it's me and my kids. Oh, though I'm not stopping you from coming. I don't care how you get there. Not possible! You think I need your validation? Veronica, I am the man of this house. Therefore, you have to take instruction for me and you cannot thwart my decision. My decision is final! Oh, really, Ken? I am not arguing the fact that you are the man of this house and I will only obey your decision when it is not selfish, Ken! Ken, what is it this time? Tima, you won't believe me. Anything is believable. You, what up? My wife. My wife got a job in USA. You see? She had me well. Jackpot! Congratulations, my man. I mean, hope they are footing the bills anyways. Oh yeah, they are footing the bills, but... Jamie's... But but what? I mean, you should be happy. I mean, you, I... we should be drinking and jumping up. Why are you looking like this? You are not getting the point, T-Man. Okay. Fill me in. Good. My wife filled the form as a single mother with two kids. Kenneth, Njoku, all you want to do is kill this woman, bring her down. How can Veronica fill a form as a single mother? Two kids. I mean, how? What happens? Oh, she, she, she said because never, she, she never had a wedding certificate. Look at this. She, she went for that to say that someone gave her this lot. And the person needed that to feel it from as soon as possible. Now, the big question here is why can't we do the God marriage? Look, I have the contact, I have the connection. At the snap of my finger, I will do it. Now, Ken, I mean, <laughs> sorry, I, I'm not laughing. You have the contact for the court wedding? Of course. Okay. So, um, what, what do you do? That is why I am here. Ken, you know my advice always asks you. So, I, I have learned to keep to myself. No more word. Go say. ahead and say it. Just for your head. Ken, I hate to say I, I told you, but... What, what? Just go straight to the point and say it. Shoot! That is why I'm here. Go and beg your wife. Veronica. 
if I try to beg Veronica. She will show me the other side of her. But come to think of it, if I do not beg Veronica, things may go wrong. Oh. This is a difficult situation. It's a very difficult situation. What do I do? I need wisdom. Wisdom to tackle this situation. But in needing wisdom, the last thing I will do is to beg Veronica. Acting so uneasy lately. Are you okay? How can I be okay? Hmm? No, tell me. How can I be okay when I don't even understand the woman I married? What do you mean you don't know the woman you got married to? Don't you know me? Stop the pretense. You know what I'm talking about. Of course, I know what you're talking about, Ken. But what do you want me to do? Go and undo it. <laughs> I don't understand. How do you want me to undo it? Write them, tell them you're married. Simple. I don't know. Ken, are you saying I should go, go back and refill every form I filled before? Or I should go back and tell them I made a grave mistake? No, is that what you want me to do? I don't care to know how you do it. Just try and find out how you do it. I don't care to know. Do I just do something. Ken, I am sure you know it is not possible. The deed has already been done. There is nothing anyone can do about it. And I'm sure you know this. You know I am not joking. So stop playing around. You have to start getting used to the fact that I am leaving this country in a few months time with my children. And there is nothing I can do about it because the deed has been done. You're not going anywhere with my kids. <laughs> I did not hear you. I said... You are not going anywhere with my kids, Veronica. <laughs> then watch me do that again. No, you daring watch me? me do it. Are you daring me? Huh? Sit down. Oh. Baby, eat your breakfast. Honey, what is it? You're not eating. Now, that way is your brother. 
Go and call him quickly. Keep it up. Call him. You guys are late already. You just have to provide a solution before I kill someone. Look, I am angry. I've had it up to this place, Timan. Ken, I, I need you to calm down. I know you are angry. I need you to calm down and as well, change your approach to this matter. Don't make it seem as though because you want the, the, to travel out now, you are interested in the court wedding. See, man, if you're expecting me to go on my knees and apologize to her, I am sorry to disappoint you. I can. I will never do it. Never. You are talking like we have another option. Of course. We have a solution. Shoot. See, man, listen. I, I want you to come to the house and, and talk to her. Talk to who? No, now, I uh, can no. <laughs> no, now. You know it can't work. It can't no, work. no, 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 it will work. But why did you say it can't? Okay. I have not seen your wife for a very long time. So? So from the blue, I just come. Come over to your house, talk to her about something that only the both of you know. No, now, Ken, come on, it can't work. Why? Why are you my friend? I'm sorry, Ken. I'm sorry. I mean, hey, this is something I, I mean, oh, I'm sorry. T-Man. Okay, now this is me just asking for curiosity. What do you want me to tell her? Good question. Just come over to the house. Tell her that I have explained everything to you. Let her have a change of mind. Simple. <laughs> Simple, of course. I, I just come. Oh, come on, Ken. If it's that simple, you should have told her yourself. Oh, come on. You know women with their ego, eh? If I try that right now, you know, it seems like I, I, I am fanning her ego, eh? You will not understand because you're still single, you're not married. Yeah. You know, Ken, I mean, this is not me being funny, right? You just reminded me that I'm single. So what is my business? No. With a married man? No, that, 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 that's not what I mean. Oh, come on. Just come and tell her. I will just do the marriage as soon as possible. Trust me. You ready now? <laughs> like, you are ready? Of course I am. <laughs> this is not funny now. Come on, now, man. Ken, now, Ken, you know your wife has asked for this thing for nine years. Oh, come on, don't refer me to that. Don't refer me. Don't take me back. That was in the past. This is new. I am a new creation. All things have passed away. This is a new time, new era. Do what I ask you to do. Huh? Will you do it for me? Hi T, what's up? Um, I'm alright, well fine, everybody's okay. Oh, you want to talk to me? Okay. I hope there's no problem. Forgive who? Oh, you mean your friend? My husband? But, but truly, I bear no grudge against him. There's nothing to forgive. I know, I know. You know, um, I understand completely, right? Please, you know how difficult this country is right now. And now that there's, there's an opportunity for a better life, you can't leave him behind. T, you're making this sound as if I did it on purpose. Come on. There, there is nothing I can do about this. It's already late. And you don't expect me to go back and tell them I made a mistake when I was filling the form. Uh, besides, they've already given me the job, so there's nothing anyone can do about it now. 
He's very sad right now. I know, but... Is there nothing you can do? Uh, there's nothing I can do about it. I, I, I warned him. I, I told him to get this done once and for all. Very please, now that we have an opportunity, forgive him. Come on, T. You're making it sound like I'm a very wicked, heartless woman. If there's anybody who wants the success of my husband more, it's me. I'm his wife. Very we're truly sorry. All of these are no strange things to me. I know I've been part of this family. All right? He's feeling so sad right now. I am sorry on behalf of Ken. I'm sorry on behalf of myself, his friends, his family. Please, just forgive him, please. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm just... I don't know. Vero, I, I was never in support of all his actions. I, I told him many times, but please, all I ask is now that you have a chance to save your marriage, would you allow your marriage to go down the drain? Would you? For something that you have the power to change. Forgiveness. When I was filling up the form, I filled the marital status column. Married. But I just wanted to see his reaction. Like I care. I don't care whether he regrets his actions or not. Because it's too late. I tried everything possible. Everything possible to make this marriage work. But Ken was not coming on board with me. So right now, I don't care. Now that I've seen an opportunity to take my kids and get away from this marriage, I am not letting it slide. I'm not even taking any chances. You don't get it. I tried everything possible to make this marriage work, like I said. I called your friend several times to speak with him, to talk to him as a wife to a husband, to try with me, let's make this marriage work. But what did your friend do? Nothing. Rather, he went to the village to bring his mother to frustrate me and also influence my kids. That woman was teaching my kids nonsense. And when I talked, what did Ken do? What did he do? Rather, him and his mother said I was trying to kill him because I asked for a court wedding that I wanted to kill him and take over his properties and called me a gold digger. Ah, T, please, please, please. I've made up my mind. You know, come to think of it. I was not truthfully between me and you, T. I was not, I wasn't even interested in his properties. Besides, what properties does uh, Ken have? No, what property does Ken have? What, what, what and what? What is it that he has that I did not build with him? I built everything with him. We started from the scratch. You know the story now. So what exactly is Ken saying that I'm trying to dig? For him to call me a gold digger, my own husband, just because I, I wanted a court wedding so I would have a certificate as a married woman. Really, T, there's nothing to be sorry about. I'm just tired of the bullshit. I'm just tired of the bullshit Ken has been serving me from day one of this marriage. I am tired. T, have you been listening to me or was I just blabbing? Didn't you hear me say I tried everything possible to make this marriage work? I tried my possible best. Anything needed to be done, I did it. Whatever a good wife needs to do to put her marriage back together, I tried it. But your friend was not forthcoming. What am I even saying? Besides, if you had spent more time preaching this sermon to your friend rather than me, I believe we won't be here today talking about this topic. See, please, I'll, I'll call you back later. I'm making lunch for my kids. They will soon be back from school. Okay, bye. You are very stupid. You are stupid too. I am warning you. No, I am not warning you. You are, you are looking you for my are trouble. Foolish. I will deal yes, with you. Physical. So you think you are pregnant? Yes, I am. You are not pregnant. I'm a pregnant. Pregnant. I'm I'm pregnant. pregnant. Stop, I'm a yes. Come on. I am pregnant. pregnant. What is all this? I will not take it. You and your sister are envious of my baby. Did you? Sister, Amaka, listen to me. Sister, you told me to stop and stop. Amaka, listen to me. She just called your name. Amaka, you're taking this too far. 
You're taking this too far. Why would you want more money? Ah, you have sister? to calm down. What Amaka. is it? You're like envious of me in this house. You're envious of me. Oh, my baby, you and your sister. What is it? Amaka, listen to me. Don't call Amaka. my sister's name again. Amaka, Amaka, listen to me. It doesn't matter. If I what is all this? Did I not tell you to mention my sister's name? Amaka, you don't tell you. Amaka, listen to me. Did I not tell you to mention my sister's name? Did I not tell you? Amaka, did I not want you? Did I not Did I not want you? I said, Amaka, don't you ever mention my sister's name. Amaka, listen to me. Did I not tell you to mention my sister's name? Did I not want you? I said, don't you ever mention my sister's name? What is all this? Amaka, see. Jesus. Jimo. Benita. Amaka, she's not dead. Amaka, give me the keys. Why are you giving me the keys now? Benita, Amaka, what is wrong with you? Give me the keys. Benita, Benita, she she might be pregnant. Benita, 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 please, Benita, please, Benita, Benita, oh, Amaka, Amaka, Benita, Benita. What exactly happened to her? Baby, I don't know. But I'm, I'm waiting for the doctor to talk to me. Because I, I don't know her present state. Hmm. Hello? Oh, doctor. Yes, how are you? I'm fine. Please, how is she? Okay, uh, are you the husband? Yes, I am. Uh, no. Please, how's her condition? Well, she's responding to treatment. The baby is fine. I mean, she will be discharged in two days. Thank God. Yes. She's okay. Thank God. So, what happened to her? You know, I, I was wondering what could, make, what could make her get into a fight, knowing her condition. A fight? Yes, a fight. You know, she was thoroughly beaten, and that made her lose a lot of blood. But thank God the baby is fine. Yes. Thank you very much, Doctor. You're welcome. Um, please, I would um, like to do everything you can in your powers to make sure <sighs> both her and the baby is fine. That's okay. I'll do everything in my powers. But let me also advise that she be more careful next time. She might not be this lucky. Please. I'll make sure of that, Doctor. I'll make sure of that. All right. So, excuse me. Amaka! Amaka, listen good. I'm going out. By the time I'm back, I do not want to see you or anything that looks like you in my house. You're leaving my house today. Alright? You leave my house today. Not without my sister's kidney. Excuse me? Yes, you heard me right. But you actually think that I will allow you and that thing you brought in here to train my sister, right? <laughs> you have a long thing going. Amaka, you almost killed someone in my house and this is what you have to say? You killed my sister first. Yes, the very day you went against our family's wish and collected her kidney, that was the day you murdered her. To top it all, you got another woman pregnant, brought her into your home, and watched her incessantly maltreat her. Hold on, you, you actually think I will allow that to slide? You are joking. You know what? I don't care what you think. But as far as I'm concerned, you are leaving my house today. Today, you leave my house. Charles. Charles, you know to know me well. If you want to know me, go ask Benita. I know be chica. I be Dandrawa Pepe. And if I enter your eye, I know the Greek come out. 
And yes, I will leave, but with two things, my sister and her kidney. Let me come back to this house and Come back you. to which house, uncle? Which house you won't come back? Waka come and they wait for you. Not a verse. Not be by being angry. When you don't verse finish, come bring my sister kidney, give me. Make a carry them, they go. Things are be chica. Be warned, because I am not chica. Rubbish. She wants to kill me. Please, I beg you. Right. Let her not cross this door again. It's, it's please, okay. fuck this hospital. She should step into this hospital, please. It's fine. She's gone now. She won't come here again. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. I want you to know everything is fine. Your baby is fine. Okay? You'll be discharged in, in two days. Alright? Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Just relax. No more hassles, okay? Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. How things are meant to be, sister. Too far. And you are too cold for my liking. Amaka, you almost killed someone today. That should be the only thing in your mind. The only thing in my mind is how to get your kidney back. And thank God she did not die. Life goes on. Wow. Oh my goodness. Amaka. Amaka, this is unbelievable. I cannot even recognize my own sister anymore. Amaka, what has happened to you? When did you become this cold? When has your heart become a stone? The very day that monster of a man decided to take your kidney without getting married to you. Sister, people donate kidney to their spouse, no doubt. Not a boyfriend. And if you want to know the kind of man Charles is, ask him to get married to you now or give you back your kidney. 
Okay? Amaka, stop this now. Sister. I am not going to take this from you. No, you will. You actually think that man cares about you? Hell no. He wants that child more than he wants you. How dare you? Who do you think you're talking to? I said stop! Stop! How dare you? It's enough. Don't talk to me like that. You slapped me. You slapped me because I am trying to save you. That's I, I, I'm sorry, Amaka. Come. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm really sorry. I, I didn't mean to hit you. Okay? Amaka, I'm sorry. Talk to me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am leaving. I am leaving your house. Amaka. 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 Come on. Come on, sisters, fight. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. Amaka. Amaka, I'm sorry. I want you. I told you everything, but just you never believed me. I'm sorry. But listen, thank God you're fine now. Not just me. Our baby. Yes. You and the baby. Yes. Listen. I promise you, henceforth, nothing will ever happen to you in my house again. Charles, is, is this a promise? Yes, and I mean it. Cross your heart. I cross my heart and promise to always protect you. I believe you. Amaka. Mama. Amaka. Since you came back, you have not been yourself. What is it? Are you okay, Amaka? Are you sick? Ah? Huh? Mama. Is it not Sister Chica? I thought I was helping her. But the thank you she told me was to give me a hot slap. Mama, I have never seen such ingratitude before. Hot slap from Chica. What happened? The pregnant woman that stays with her keeps tormenting her day and night. The only crime Amaka committed was to fight back. Ogo. Amaka, wait. Amaka, wait. Wait, 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 wait. To fight back. Fight who back? What do you mean by you fight back? I got that wrong. Mama. Huh? What? I said I. Okay, fine. Not like I beat her. Not like I beat her too hard. Just a, a, a small, a small beating, and she fainted. Then they rushed her to the hospital. Hey! Chime boom. Amaka. Amaka. Wait, Amaka. You pushed a pregnant woman. Mama, is that why you shouted like that? Amaka, will you shut up? Amaka. You pushed a pregnant woman. Amaka. Hey! Amaka, you have finished me. Amaka, you have killed me. Yeah, Imugum. Why you did me? Nafi me. Chica. Oh my goodness. Chica can eat brood with it. Titi, Tipia wishi. Devil in me. Amaka, yeah, Ukaikai. 
Mama Weto, are you trying to tell me that you support Sister Chica for slapping me? Look at this stupid idiot. Amaka, we are talking about the pregnant woman you pushed down. The pregnant woman that has been tormenting my sister. Amaka, will you shut that your mouth? Come on, go and get me my phone. Go and get me my phone. Come this way. Come this way. Come, come this way. Hey! How am I going to go about this? What am I going to do? What will I do? Amakaga has killed me. Hey! Chimo! You're back. Thank God you're back. Oh my God, baby, uh, baby, baby, how is she? How is everything? Uh, I, I've been trying your number. It, 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 it's not going through. What, what, what's happening? What happened? Is she okay? Is everything okay? Eh? Baby, 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 talk to me. Baby, 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 baby. Baby. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry this happened. But you know, it's not my fault. It was unintended. Thank God, Benita is fine. And even the baby. Thank God, nothing happened to them. But listen, I promise you, this will never happen again, okay? Believe me and hold me by my words, okay? It will never happen again, never ever, all right? Um, besides, Amaka is no longer here. Yes, you heard me. She left. She's gone back to the village. Um, we got into an argument and out of anger, I slapped her. And she, she moved her bags and, and left out of vexation. But hey, that is not even important. What is important here is that I just want you to know that I'm really sorry for what happened. And I promise you to never happen again. I cross my heart. Sincerely, to never ever happen again on my honor. Please. When you're done, you put off the light. Baby. Baby, I'm sorry now. I'm sorry, I mean it. I was so scared. I, I thought one city boy has taken you away from me. City boy? Ke. Ah, me that went to the city to fight. Fight? With uh -huh. which hand? Is it this one I'm seeing? <laughs> you think I am joking? I went there to buzz bows. You can yeah. fight? <laughs> it's funny. You. Okay. Don't fight. Fighting is not good, okay? So please stop fighting. Don't leave, they don't look for my trouble. 
Okay. Anyway, when am I coming to see your people? Today. Today? Yes, today. Amaka, I'm serious here. I said today now. Are you serious? Huh? Thing is, both of us agreed to get married, right? Mm -hmm. Either of us can fix the date. Mm. Or do you want me to fix it? I've been thinking, what about weekend? We can find by you. Yes. <sighs> Come here. <laughs> I've missed you. Missed you more. I've missed you so much. I've missed you more. My husband, if not that I called Chica to confirm that the lady is still alive, hey! She would have heard that I died of heart attack. High blood pressure goes woes woes. Amaka did not do well. Oh, Amaka did not do well at all. That is exactly my thought. If Amaka had brought back the corpse of that stupid girl back to this house, I would have known that she's actually my daughter. Huh? Yes. Yes. Hey! Nay. What are you talking about? Wait, wait. I don't understand you. Are you saying that Amaka should sit down and watch another woman humiliate the sister? Or have you not heard that that girl is fully aware that Chica and the child wanted to get married? She went ahead to, to get pregnant for him. Stupid girl. She's wicked. She got what she deserved. Chirekwa, nai. Ewe kwa niwe u. Eche mna mwona gine ibunye no fite. So you are supporting Amaka? Ah, no. I should be supporting you. The most problem we have in this family is you. Huh? Because you don't have act like other women. You are not vibrant. You draw you too much. You know how you are Eh? If any man know that the mother-in-law don't take nonsense, they cannot be playing with your daughters. You cannot be... Oh, but Charles. Charles will definitely hear from me. He will know the kind of mind I am. I will... He, oh. In fact... Oh, but what Charles? I don't know the news now. Don't marry me now. You have given me chance. Um, no, Biko. Natabano, you will get your good job. Oh, is it boy the mama? Um, Obi or Accord. He told me that he's coming with his people this weekend. Yeah, that is the better news. That's the better news and my happiness is that let them come. I know my daughter. Amaka will not take any nonsense from any man. I know let them come. We are, we are here, but where are we going? But the Charles, Charles will definitely hear from me. Veronica, hello. Mama, welcome. Thank Good you. <laughs> How are you? I didn't know you were coming. Eh? How are you and your I'm, work? I'm fine, Mama. I'm fine. Hey. As for hmm? work, I've not, I've not started work yet. <laughs> ah, Mama, so, so good to see you. I didn't expect you. I didn't know you were coming. <laughs> yeah, I am now. Well, I'm sure you're tired. Long journey. So let me go to the kitchen and get you food, okay? No. No, that is not why I am here, my daughter. Uh, hmm? I have come here to discuss an important thing with you. Mama, I hope there is no problem. There is no problem. Hmm? No problem. What is going on between you and your husband? My husband? <laughs> Mama, there is nothing going on between us. We are fine. Vero, don't lie to me or pretend to me. You know that I'm your mother-in-law. And that also makes me your mother. Mama, I know. 
you, you don't need to tell me. Of course, you're my second mother. So tell me, why did you not include your husband in your plan? Mama, I, I am lost. Your husband told me that you did not include him in your travel plan, your new job. Travel plan? Mm -hmm. New job. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mama, Mama, you mean the new job I got in America? <laughs> the one they asked me to come with my family and they are taking care of all the expenses. Yes, my lovely daughter. That is it. Oh, well, I didn't know that was what you were talking about. Hmm. <laughs> I thank God, though. I thank God about it. <sighs> Mama, the thing is when I was asked to fill the form, and everything happened so suddenly, and there was nothing I could do at that moment. I had to fill in single, because if I had filled it married, there's no certificate to prove that I am a married woman. That is no problem now. You can go to the registrar and just get a date for the court wedding. Court wedding? Yes, court wedding. Mama, you talk as if you don't know your son. You know how adamant he's been about this court thing. I've been begging him since. My, he said no. Forget about my son. Is he not my son again? Don't worry, just go and get the date. I will sort him out. Hmm? Mama, if I heard you right, you're saying I should go to the registry and get a date exactly for what, our court wedding. Exactly, my lovely daughter. Mama, you're sure? Yes. That is what you're saying. Exactly, my lovely daughter. Hey, <laughs> Mama. Oh, I like this one. Hey. Thank you so much. Oh, ah, that is where I talk about you. you. See what I've been saying since. <laughs> this is what I've been explaining. I, Mama, I'm happy you said this. I know now. that you are a good girl. Mama, I'm a good huh? girl. I don't have problems. Yes, it's just that you people don't understand me. I know that you will not have problems at certain time. Ah. Mm. Mama, you know what you do for me? Mm -hmm. Just get your son ready. Get him ready for the court wedding. I'll get a date. I'll do that one ASAP. <laughs> oh. Mama, Mama, I'm enough. so happy. Eh? I have the hey. best mother-in-law. <laughs> my lovely daughter. Mama. <laughs> Mama, you know what? Let me go into the kitchen and get you something to eat. Ooh. And don't tell me you're not hungry. I'm hungry now. You're hungry, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Mama, 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 welcome, eh? Let me take these bags into your take room, it. eh? <laughs> <laughs> Mama, welcome, eh? Oh. My sweet mother-in-law. Chai, chai. Oh, yo, yo. Mm. I'm so nice. Oh, very nice girl. <laughs> She accepted. Just like that. Yes. Don't you trust your mother again? She was even smiling and... Uh... Smiling? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mama, I don't trust that girl. And I don't trust that part where you say she acted like she forgot. Not the Veronica that I know. Mama, even in her dream, Veronica cannot forget her court wedding and her job. I, I have this feeling that she's mocking you. My son, stop talking like that. Have faith. Hmm? She's going to get a date for your court wedding. You say she's cooking. <laughs> I think this girl is playing with us. How did she suddenly change like that? I know who I spoke with. And I know who I am living with. Son, go inside. Go and do your husband duty. Go, go and be a good husband. Go, 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 go. <sighs> and be a good boy. <sighs> go. How was your day? <laughs> Very well. Mm. How are you? I'm fine, my darling. Did you see Mama outside? 
She came. She's outside. Did you see her? And um, I prepared something great for her. <laughs> yes, I, I, I saw her outside. Oh, okay. Are you okay? Honey, what do you mean am I okay? Do I look sick? No, you don't look sick. Just a question. Baby, you worry too much. You know what you do now. Go upstairs, freshen up, and join us at the dining, okay? We're about to eat. So I'll have to include your plate now. Quickly. Baby, what are you still waiting for? Go upstairs. Uh, all right. Let me see your plates. Yeah. Okay. I know you don't like soup, so we managed that one. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. I'm okay, Mama. Okay, guys. Let us pray before we eat. Mm -hmm. Honey. Yeah. Your hands? Uh, okay. <laughs> mm -mm. Young lady, pray for us. Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 So, everyone, bon appetit. Who took my who took my knife? Uh, you, can, you can have this. No, 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 honey, you're using it. Don't worry, I'll manage. I'll use my hand. You know, I like to eat with my hand. Okay. So, everyone, dig in. <laughs> Don't you trust your mommy? I do. <laughs> Dad, yeah. you're not eating. Uh, I, uh, Honey, you're I not eating. Eat. I, I'm kind of filled. I'm, I'm not really hungry. Baby. Yeah. You will like it. Uh, yes, I, I know. Look at your goat meat staring at you. You like good meat? Yes, I, I'm kind of not hungry. Baby, come on. Mm? Mm? <laughs> <laughs> Mama, eat now. I'm eating. I'm eating. Yes, it's so delicious. Mm -hmm. mm. You trust your wife now. I want to appreciate you and uh, specifically thank you for restoring peace and harmony in our family. You're such a wonderful woman. Thank you so much, baby. I know I have made things um, a little bit difficult for you lately. Let me use this medium to say that I am sorry. Come on, baby. 
it does not matter okay for old things have passed away and all things are new now hmm? i'm good okay you have a good heart <laughs> Um, Mama said you should um, pick a date for our court marriage. Oh, that. Yeah. I have already picked a date. Wow. Mm -hmm. This Saturday, 12 noon. Wow. Are you serious? Yes, I am. Oh, you're done with the necessary arrangement? Yes, everything. <sighs> what can I do without you? Nothing, baby. Such Nothing. a darling. <laughs> no, you, my sweet husband, you are such a darling. A sweet man. Oh. And that is why I love you. <laughs> I love you too. I love you too, baby. And I like the way you touch me. I know. That's yeah. why I do it. <laughs> such an angel. Oh, no. You are angel, Ken. Na so, na so, na so, na so. It don't happen. <laughs> na so. <laughs> you feel me? Na you so, me? na so, na so. <laughs> What's happened? Tell me, my guy. My wife. My wife has finally accepted to add my name in the list. America! America! Here I come! America! My here indeed. I come! <laughs> I'm um, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so good. Oh yeah. See, my guy, I've always known that Veronica is a good woman. Yes, she is. Honest, she is. <laughs> but I've, I've always it. also known that my friend is the devil that is bringing all the trouble. Get out. All things are passed away. Behold, I am a new creation. Preach it, preach it. You understand? Now, all my friends, all, all of them, we now know that our levels are no longer the same. Guy, I don't step up. <laughs> I did the other level now. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> yeah, I feel I don't you. I'm not going to speak like America. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, I feel you. You feel me? I feel you. <laughs> you there, you there. So, Nina? Wait, wait, wait. You there? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, mean, you, say, you say your friends. Yes, you mean inclusive? My friend. Of course. Including you. <laughs> you know well. <laughs> now my house is a chop, bro. Nah, shut up. <laughs> now, me so say you they go America so. Guy, eh? you know, my wife suddenly changed. You know, started doing everything for me. What I mean, asking, she will prepare my meals. I would never ask of it. Guy, in the other one, two for seven. She's giving it on the type of me, asking of it. Guy, what I go? She just said, You feel me? I feel you. You feel me, right? They, they give you now. You don't tell me, you don't know, tell me, say they give you. Get out. Okay, oh yeah. So, play me the whole tape. <sighs> Angels of God touched her, you know? <laughs> Actually, my mom came around. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, you know, they had one-on-one -on -one talk, woman-to-woman -woman talk, is that, you know? I was, initially, I was skeptical, you know, until I called her. You know, better places than married people settle their problem. <laughs> I called her there, you know? When I talk, deep down inside of me, I am convinced that she's a changed woman. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I mean the spirit. Hey. <laughs> you feel me? Okay, you see? You feel me? Bad man. Poverty for kill you, dear. Pero for kill you. You feel me? I feel you. You feel me? I feel you. I'm America. speaking like America. Can <laughs> <laughs> one? You feel me? Hello. You feel me? Hello. I feel me. 